Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, and in this video we're talking about a brand new helmet for 2011. It's called the Scorpion XO500 Helmet. This helmet is a $200 helmet that will do a lot of things well on the street in sport riding conditions. It's DOT and ECE 2205 certified. Like I said, it's $109, or $199, and we measured a uh, medium at around 3 pounds 8 ounces, so I consider that reasonably light. What you're basically getting here, and I have the black one, this is a small, and this white one is a large. I'm going to move the large over for a second. What you're basically getting is a scaled down, more affordable version of the XO 1000, which was a long distance, super premium sport and sport touring helmet. For this guy, for the 500, you have a more aggressive sport riding styled helmet that's going to perform really well in the three quarter or in the tuck position. Now it's not Snell rated, so for most tracks that's not good enough. But for aggressive street riding, it's going to do a lot of things well, keep you comfortable, keep you cool, keep you focused while you're riding. Let's talk a little bit about fit. Fit on this guy, I've had it on. I spent a little bit of time on the bike on it. It is a little bit messy here in Philly this time of year, so I didn't spend a ton of time. But what I'm going to consider this guy is an intermediate round fit. Now that's not, that's not exactly the same as some of the other Scorpion helmets or even something like a showy mid-range helmet, which would be that intermediate oval. This is going to be more of an intermediate round oval, so a little bit closer to some of the HJC stuff. If you have a more earth-shaped head, this guy's a great option for you. Let's jump into the features. First thing, it's going to be very comfortable. Two reasons it's going to be comfortable. The first, it has an updated ventilation scheme. So you have two chimney vents here at the top, which are going to flow more air than the XO400. You also have a single chin, chin vent. It's one position on and off that vents to the face down here. Now, some helmets that we carry are going to vent to the face or vent to the face shield. Moving into some of the other features that are unique to this guy, and actually this feature is on all the Scorpion helmets, you don't need that face shield venting because the Everclear shield is fog free and it comes standard on all of these helmets. So this shield has a coating from the factory that's going to allow it to stay fog free and you don't have to worry about venting directly to the shield. So you have upgraded ventilation on the top and on the front. Moving it around to the back, you're going to have passive chimney vents out the back. So what happens is you have high speed air moving over a curved surface. It creates a vacuum. That's why it always wants to pull your head up off your bike when you're riding and this chin or this spoiler comes so much into play. But basically these vents are going to have hot air pulled out of the back of the helmet. And when I gut it in a little bit, I'm going to show you the internal intake holes. But really, so you have hot air being removed out the side. You have light winglets here along the side as well for passive venting. But your main scoops are going to be on the front and on the chin or on the, on the uh, chimney and on the chin. Now I also want to talk about this shield mechanism here. I'm going to show you how to change it. But what it does, one of the nice things is this is a mechanism that's been borrowed from the 1000 again. It's a three position shield mechanism. So what you have is you have lock, which doesn't allow it to be open. You have open, which allows you to access, or access some of the strong detents, open and shut. And then you also have a third setting, which is cracked. Cracked is really nice if you're out in 20 degree weather, if you're breathing up a storm. You know what? Fog free is great, but if you have anything going on that you need to vent some of the air, get more air to your face, you're going to be able to vent this guy with the push of a button, which is a nice feature. The other thing, when I look at this side of the shield change mechanism here, is I have this lever. That's going to be my internal sun visor, which is huge. This guy is a feature that we see in a lot of high-end helmets that cost a lot more money from other manufacturers. To have this guy, it saves you having to carry two shields. To have to have that smoke or dark smoke. You know, you can basically go to an iridium clear with a light tint on it. And then if you get killed in the sun or really, you know, if you're hitting a lot of brightness, you can pop down that internal sun visor. I'm actually getting really spoiled. I wear too many helmets. Most of my helmets, most of my favorite helmets, I love that have that feature. Notice we have a removable chin curtain here or, or a breath curtain across the nose as well. So to use the speed shift system, these shields come off really, really easily. Flip it once there, flip it on the other side, bang. It's, a, it's like a, an eighth of a twist and it comes right off. To put it back on, you align the posts, snap it into place on one side, snap it into place on the other side, and you're done. That easy. Now, the only other thing I wanted to show you here is I want to talk about this weather sealing gasket across the top. So you have a rubberized gasket that runs this way. And when the shield comes down, you'll notice that this hinge actually moves forward and back. It's probably got about a centimeter of movement there, or maybe a half a centimeter, five millimeters. But what you're going to do is when it comes down, 
it's going to suck that shield back. It creates a better wind block barrier. It's going to help you in head checks by not getting wind cutting through the, through the uh, helmet. And at high speed, it's going to give you the best chance of keeping that helmet in the right position when it is not locked. So moving around from there, I want to show you one other key element, and it really is a fit element. Remember, I talked about the intermediate round oval on this guy. This uses Scorpion's high-end air fit system. I am a huge fan of this system. If we remember, in the last 20 years, anybody, I'm 30, you had the Reebok pump that was so popular for so long. It allows you to use basically an air bladder to get a custom fit. Not different on this helmet. It comes with a chin curtain that sits here, and on top of the chin, chin curtain, it's going to have a crosshair, and it's going to have a dot where the release is. Here's your pump, here's your release. The bladders sit behind the cheek pads. So what I'm going to do here, show you, you pump it like this, and you pump it, and these actually can inflate pretty, pretty big, to be honest with you. So you have a lot of degrees of, uh, of adjustment here, and then you pump it up, and then when you hit the button, you release it, you actually see these guys move. If I do it again, you're going to see them inflate and then move, so when you deflate them, it's going to be easy on, easy off. You can change the cheek pad sizes, but really, this variable cheek pad air bladder system, this air fit system is going to allow you to get more mileage out of the cheek pads that come with the helmet. You're not going to have to worry about swapping them. Different size face shapes, different size heads are going to get that ergonomic fit that contours your face versus, versus taking what the best available is. Now, if we look here, and we look at the shape, again, I talked about it being an intermediate round shape, a little bit rounder. Why don't I pull all the guts? Now, it's the Quick Wick 2 system internally. It's their upgraded, softer, more comfortable, and it has different density foams in the liner. This is an upgrade over the Quick Wick 1, which has been around forever from Scorpion. Let me show you how to pull out the guts on this guy. So cheek pads are going to be a couple snaps, some Velcro, and everything is fully removable, even though you have the bladder system. So I'm going to pull this guy through, and I want to show you one more thing. Whoops, I didn't even undo it here. So you have the double D-ring here. So here's your cheek pad system. Notice the air bladder is not part of this system. The air bladder is separate. It lives here on the inside. I'm going to do it on the other side. I also want to talk about the straps. You know, in the hottest of the hot weather riding, if you're a sport rider, if, like us here in the Northeast, you spend a lot of time on the road in really sticky conditions, it's fully removable. You're going to want to be able to pull these guys out and wash them as well. And they are removable. They have a single snap, and the sleeve that is also quick wick is going to come right off your, your chin strap, and you can wash that. So what I always like to say is, you know, with this quick drying stuff that's built this way, that's built to wick sweat away and be antimicrobial, hit a gas station, grab, grab a, a Red Bull, hit the bathroom, run this stuff under some water, sit it on a picnic bench in the sun for 10 minutes, and you're clean, you're dry, you're sweat free, and you're ready to go. Now from here, you can see I have this guy gutted, and, and you know what I might as well do? I might as well inflate these bladders on either side while I have it open like that. You can see on the side here, here are gonna be your jawline adjustment air fit system. And then from there, you also have the top liner that comes right out. Again, washable, removable. It's a helmet that's meant to last more than one season. And if you're a guy that rides the amount that I ride, you're going to need something you're going to be able to take care of. So as I pull this guy out here, comes right out, and here's going to be your crown. Again, this is a size small, but you see this helmet actually comes in three different shell sizes. So they adjust the size of the padding on the inside and the cheek pads, but you're going to have three main sizes that start off on size extra small. And as I show you on the inside here, we're going to see that there's venting that comes in through the front and leaves to the back. You can get a good gauge for that. So if you have any questions about the XO500, remember, it starts at $199, comes in graphics, comes in solids, um, a black version, white version, a good, a good range here for the sport bike crowd. Give us a shout. See us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. As always, it's over 39 bucks. We'll ship it for free. If you get the wrong size, fire it back to us. We'll send you the exchange size for free. And if you decide you don't like it, send it back to us for, for a full refund. We don't have a restocking fee. There's no 9010s here. Whether it's closeout or a regular item, no restocks at RevZilla. So we give you the most flexibility and we take some of the scariness out of buying online. And as always with this guy, you're going to earn TeamZilla Cash, which is our loyalty program, which allows you to spend, earn money towards your next order. And our, it's our way of basically saving some money in the long run. Thanks for watching RevZilla TV today. You can find these guys at RevZilla.com slash Scorpion-Helmets. 
I'm Anthony. This is the Scorpion XO500 helmet, new from Scorpion for 2011. We'll see you next time.